Welcome to Davis Code Camp. Today we're going to be learning how to light up your crafts. All right, let's get started. First, let's check your supplies. You need four LEDs, one fabric band, two magnets, one needle, conductive thread, a CR2032 battery, a CR2032 battery holder, copper tape, and markers. For this first part, you'll need your fabric band. Fold your fabric into thirds and push down firmly on the edges to make a crease. Now, unfold your fabric. You're going to be working with the left or right division of your fabric. Next, you'll need your four LEDs in your battery holder. Lay out where you want your battery holder and LEDs to be, but make sure that all of your LEDs are laid out sideways, not lengthwise. Next, grab your black, red, and green pen. First, you'll be using your green pen. Take your green pen and mark the contacts of your battery and the contacts of your LEDs. I found it was easiest to poke the marker through the holes on the left and right side of the LEDs to mark where they will go. Next, take your red and black pens. These will be to mark where your positive and negative lines will go. Move your LEDs and battery holder out of the way. With your red pen, mark from one of the dots and continue to connect the dots down one side of the LEDs. Make sure not to cross over. This will cause a short circuit later on. Next, take your black pen, but don't connect the dots just yet. Draw a line from the battery holder dot to the edge of the fabric. Do the same with the LED dots to the other end of the fabric. This will be for our switch later on. Next, you'll need your sewing needle and conductive thread. Thread your needle and let's get started. Take your threaded needle and push through the hole in the battery's positive terminal. Loop back around and double knot it so the battery holder is secured to the fabric. Do a couple more loops around the battery terminal to ensure you're making a solid connection and don't forget to pull it tight. Next, take your threaded needle and sew along the red line until you get to where your first LED is going to be. You can go over and under the standard way of sewing, or if your distance is short enough, you can use the length of the needle to move over and under the way I am now. Next, take one of your LEDs and place its positive terminal on the first dot on the red line. Take your needle and push it through the terminal. Do a couple of loops around the terminal to ensure you have a secure fit. And don't forget to pull it down tightly each time, otherwise you could end up with a loose connection. Once your first LED's positive terminal is tightly bound to your fabric, sew along the red line again until you reach the next dot on the line. Grab another LED and just like the previous step, tightly sew a few loops through the positive terminal of the LED. And remember that the positive terminal has a plus sign next to it.
Continue this step for the remaining two LEDs. Remember to tie off your very last LED to complete this side of the circuit. Next we're going to sew our negative terminal line. Starting with the LED closest to your battery terminal, push the needle through the negative terminal of the LED and tie it off with a double knot. Do a couple loops to ensure that the connection is secure. Continue to follow along the negative line connecting LEDs until you reach the end of the fabric. Unthread your needle and leave the extra slack of thread for later. Make sure not to cut it. Next, cut a small length of thread and thread your needle. Push the needle through the negative terminal of your battery holder. The hole is a bit small, so you might need to use a little muscle to pull it through. Sew along the other black line until you reach the other end of the fabric. Remember, you're not connecting the negative terminal of the battery directly to the negative terminal of the LEDs like you did with the positive side. Tie off this end, but make sure to leave the extra thread off to the side. Make sure not to cut it. Now is a good time to test and make sure your battery connections are correct. Put your battery inside the battery holder and touch the negative thread from one side of the fabric to the negative thread on the other side of the fabric. You should see the two sides light up. Now it's time to decorate. Fold your fabric into thirds again and flip your fabric over. The top middle section is where you will start decorating. Grab markers, glitter glue, whatever you like and start decorating. Feel where your LEDs are and make sure they'll be able to shine through whatever you put on top or around them. Next, you're going to need conductive thread, your magnets, a sewing needle, some copper tape, and your bracelet. Take one of your magnets and stick it on one end of your fabric, on the top part of your fabric. Take some copper tape and tape it down. Take your long strand of copper tape and begin wrapping it around your bracelet. Keep doing so until you have good coverage on one end of your bracelet. Just remember, you need to do this on both ends, so use your tape sparingly. Next, take your other magnet and, through the copper tape, see which side of the magnet sticks to the other. Once you see which side sticks, mark it with your black sharpie. With the black side facing up, Take another piece of copper tape and tape your magnet down to the other end of the fabric, on the side of the fabric without any drawings on it. Wrap the end just like you did in the previous step. Once your ends are wrapped, take a piece of copper tape and tape down the remainder of your thread on both ends. Once you have done this, clip any excess thread. Test the bracelet in between clips to make sure it turns on when you touch the two copper ends.
clean up your design by going back and cutting any loose threads. Make sure not to cut into the copper tape that could break your connections. Take two small pieces of copper tape and fold them over the edges of your bracelet to seal off the ends. Once you're done, you should have a bracelet that lights up when you touch the two ends together.